Hello, my name is Olukman and I'm busy there for Namba Taxi. Namba Taxi is online ordering taxi ordering service. We are the fastest growing and the largest taxi ordering service in Kyrgyzstan. We are like a Uber for developing countries. Our model is a hybrid model where we combine ordering through mobile apps with uh, customer uh, with uh, call centers where people can actually order taxis through phone calls. Uh, our milestones. We, were, we launched three years ago as a, a traditional taxi company, but we've, we've pivoted to like hybrid model where we started investing a lot in technology. And currently we are uh, like Uber for developing countries. Um, we we uh, adapted our all of our solutions to the needs of uh, developing countries, like in Kyrgyzstan. So we 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 focus heavily on operational excellence, and currently there are only 12% of rejected bookings, and we achieved 30% net profit, net profit margin. And uh, we uh, in December 2014 we launched our first mobile app to order taxi services. And in just half a year, we, we were able to convert 30% uh, of our customers to ordering through mobile apps. And that's what we are strong at. We, we, we are strong at uh, adapting our um, uh, solutions, IT solutions, to the needs of uh, developing countries. We know how to work with drivers, we know how to work with clients. We know how to attract clients, and we know how to attract the drivers. And the opportunity is that we want to target um, underlooked uh, 1 million plus uh, countries, uh, cities, which are in CIS, CIS countries. And we estimated that only these four, four countries, they, the, the market size is around uh, $2.5 billion. And our target is, uh, our ask is, uh, we, we are uh, estimating that um, for, the, for the gaining market position in one, one city, we need around half a million dollars. So our, our, our goal is to, to become market leaders in 20 cities, and our ask for that is $10 million. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Any have questions? 15 more seconds. So anyway, let's start with the questions. Yes. Uh, 30. 30 people. Yeah. So most of them are engineers and customer support. The thing is, uh, what we understood is that, um, yes, uh, smartphone penetration is growing, and yes, Uber is growing, but uh, people are still, people still want uh, contact with real people. So uh, most of our uh, bookings are actually uh, done through our customer support. So even if people, if person uh, requested a cab, we always ensure that uh, the cab arrives there and our alcohol, alcohol center ensures the quality of the drive. Where are you focusing developing countries only? Huh? Uh, what are you focusing for developing countries? For developing, currently we are focusing on CS countries because it's our region. It's our Russian-speaking countries, ex-USSR, and we know how to operate in those countries. And then we can actually uh, target like MENA or African region too. Because we believe that this hybrid model is, is uh, like we've developed a playbook where we can actually just replicate uh, opening the tax services. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, sorry. Uh, so the thing is, um, the the good question is that uh, it's hard to um, count the number of users because uh, uh, yeah, I'll I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why because um, in our country the SIM cards are not registered. Because the total total number of the uh, unique unique people who who requests the uh, cap from us is 300,000 uh, clients. 300,000, yeah. So we do around, no, it's for three, for three years. So since our inception. And we can track retention rate, but currently it's problematic because a lot of people, they change their SIM cards very frequently. So it's the only, currently it's the only thing that, um, that can enable us to track them. I can tell you that we have around 45,000 active users right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, monthly active users. And uh, we don't count that right now because um, we, our revenue is that we get from, um, from drivers. So our model is that we take a cut from the driver, driver's trip. Um, for driver, 
I'll tell you my, uh, our revenue per month. <laughs> so it's $25,000 right now. It used to be around 50000 when the dollar was a bit, but then the economic crisis and <laughs> yeah, devaluation. So, uh, uh huh. Single one? Yes, uh, no, we have a lot of competitors, like traditional taxi companies, and we have... Traditional? Uh, like yes, uh, no, like, we are unique in terms of that we are hybrid model. Like, we have uh, purely Uber clones, okay. uh, but we don't have a company which focuses on customer, like, old-school taxi companies and plus uh, Uber-like operations. Please, you put... Last slide, you put four yeah, countries. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think Uzbekistan is much bigger than uh, some of them, no? Like well, we actually, we, uh, our deciding factor was the average check, because Uzbekistan, uh, first, there is political situation, and second, average check is very, very low. That's why these are the most promising countries, and through our experience, uh, we know that uh, out of one million population, a market leader in taxi service can generate around one million dollars revenue per year. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good job.